Tantra way. I'm, I'm not part of it. I'm delighted that they are the same. It's not really. Uh, hopefully, I've changed it since then. But this is a. This is a. I was in fall. I was doing a fresh course, fresh start course in fall. And I had a lot of activity in my life. I was walking down Nassau Street, and we were, the course was in Maryland Square. There was a lot of work around, and you see people with very smart coats, and everybody well dressed for the lines. And every some day I would come along down Nassau Street and sit in a restaurant called, I can't even name it now, something, some name on it. But um, I, wrote, I wrote things, and I felt a bit important, I felt I was part of the Celtic Tiger. They were trying to put me in the candy tire, but they didn't sort of see I can make it up. But this was one of the things I wrote. And there's a good place to go, take a day it. I'm writing near Nassau Street in Marion Square Park. Stone, cobblestone base, filled with cement and moss, giant memorial to the Duke of Woodland. Wind blowing, sun baking, Trees scant in their leaves, yet past flowering. I know that Nassau Street, barred wire of redemptorist priests, call my cavalcade of horsemen to a sudden jerk, and off we go, in domination, rounding by Green's bookstore and the Montclair. I being loud and aggressive, swinging to Nassau Street, halters on, grouping up against oncoming traffic. Charlie Bird, Bureau of Society, hugged his beloved wife and daughter with relief, as I hooked Centre Road or White Horse Bridal to dominate and search all roof raft slobbery, buried in the approaching melee. Sniffer dogs on the slant smell and drag out all the bemoaned and pompous, all show and no fruit, languid and voluptuous not caring or giving it up. Coffers of money on a countdown. People counting wicked well to high purchases of property and the like. Swinging, swinging past cafe prep at a side glance. A lot of, a lot of equine flesh dashing and dominating, scouring the corridors of Nassau Street. And then to the hellish abyss of my own place, 84, culminating in surrender and drop out answer, for life has taken its toll on me, and I didn't even mention the tiger economy. So a soft encounter with Pat, maybe he may leave his self-imposed prison, and we go off somewhere, maybe hoped, toning down my anger and pain to have funded by social welfare my dark journey there and return. All life could have much from me, and the cold that was rampant had been cured in me, and I forgot. I don't really know what that poem means. I think it's just an elk horse. You know, just throw the whole lot. All, all the horses flying out, getting kind of rid of everyone. So this is, this is a poem. Um, I have hopefully undergone a bit of a religious revival. And I wrote this poem, it, wasn't, it was on the 11th of the 9th that I wrote it, which is a very sad day. But I didn't write about what happened to the world on the 11th of the 9th. It's to do with uh, my religious practice and how I see myself in 50 years' time or 100 years' time. Let's say, sometime you get a notion that you might die, and you do die anyway. So let's hope I'm on the right side to do that. But this is a, an attempt, I hate to say it's an attempt at a holy poem. That sounds very pretentious. It's a type of attempt. I had a vision of our lady when I was 18, and it was interpreted by a friend that I had to follow our lady. But my life would be a hand being deserved, it would be very awesome to follow our lady. So I wanted to move away from what I was doing <coughs> into being a proper person in God's eyes. So uh, this is one of my attempts to do that. And uh, I'm not keen on the open lines, but I wrote them down. 
I'll just say that I'm the one here. Why do I say the Virgin Mary? Virginity be damned for crucifying this man. These words are wrote way back in 1988 or so. And now I look and see them wondering. Why damn virginity? Why the hysteria? As I sit in Pat's chair, away from my house, the rounds, the persecutions of both of us, to both of us, over my women. And now do I long for the healing power of Christ. Do I long that he will come more into my heart? And then the very good woman, Mary, what was her second name? Overshadowed by the, the, by the spirit, no seamy sex involved. Yet her in her brilliant, immaculate purity, overshadowed and gave birth to Jesus. Sinless Mary giving birth to sinless Jesus. After all, if God the Father gave Mary this honour, the honour of nurturing in her womb the seed of Christ, she should have been beautiful and sinless. This I believe I long to have her gracious all over me, a beggar who delighted in sin, yet hurt and repentant. Wondering, why need a dirty life when I long to be sinless? Is this singing life in my pa is this singing life in my past I'm there to make sense. Is this singing life in my past over? That should be there. What do I do to find supper from a woman? Could I ever look after a child? Maybe the father wants me not to marry, to cherish him by way of his soul, and to beg their forgiveness and be happy, pure and child. Oh, if only I could go God's way and not my own way. And the way is by Mary, her being my friend and support. Purity and chastity for me are. Thank you.